it's Gina from Watercolor Blooms. It's been a hot minute since I've been on my channel. I keep saying and I keep planning, I'm gonna do videos, I'm gonna do new release videos, I'm gonna show everybody all the pretty things, hauls and all that. And obviously that has not happened. Um, life has really changed since I quit my old job and started working on the Etsy shop full time. And to be honest, I've been doing it full time since January and I'm still figuring things out. It's taken me a lot longer than I thought to get a schedule together. So the month of June, that's what's happening. It's schedule time. It's time to get down to business, especially with the YouTube channel. So to kickstart off June, I thought how perfect would it be to do June monthly. I'm going to be using our June monthly kit. This is in the shop. It's in the last chance section, so you can get it for a good deal. And this has champagne foil on it. And it's so pretty. If you're unfamiliar with our shop, we always have monthly uh, foiled kits and they're four pages. It's so pretty. Like how perfect is this for June? So pretty. And yeah, they're four pages. Oh, and there's another cool thing about our kits that I started doing with June that I'll go over once I get there. You guys might be like, what the heck? Like, if you got this kit um, and you've planned with it before watching this video, you might be like, what the heck is this about? Like, why are all the numbers messed up? So these big, huge, long stickers are so hard for me to put down, but they're so cool. Right? Yeah. So does anybody have any cool plans for this month? I do not. Um, oh, crap. I have pen on my hand I forgot to wash off and it's getting on my page so yeah look at how pretty oh it's so stinking pretty I don't have anything really going on as far as like personal life but we are participating in the um, June mega planner attic sale and that is uh, June 16th through the 18th and that's when we offer our largest discount with no minimum. So we usually do 30%, no minimum. So I'm pretty excited about that. I definitely want to do a lot of prep for that because the last sale was really successful. And that's the thing about being a ready to ship shop, which I'm trying to convert into being 100% ready to ship, is that you never really know what's gonna sell. I mean, you have an idea because you post it to the, to the marketplace, to the public, to you guys, and you can kind of judge from your response, from the response, like how popular it's gonna be. But just because somebody likes something doesn't mean they're going to buy it. So that's kind of where the struggle is for me. It's like, well, how much do I print? Because I don't want to waste paper and ink because it's expensive. We use the premium matte paper and premium ink. So yeah, that's the main event for this month. I'm gonna put down my paydays. It's interesting now because with Etsy, you can choose how you get paid, and I, th I think I'm gonna change it to bi-weekly, which is what I'm used to, what I'm more used to. Even though this is completely jacked up, I'm still gonna use it. It's not really gonna bother me. 
So paydays are on Tuesday, which is weird. And then I also mark my man's paydays. And he gets paid on the 10th. Maybe I'll zoom you in a little bit. What do we think? That might be better as long as I'm in shot. So Saturday the 10th. This kit is like giving me life. And then the 25th, and that falls on a Sunday, so he'll get paid Friday. And then since I have been getting paid weekly, it's really weird. Like, I'm still figuring out the best way to pay bills. That's kind of crooked. The best way to pay bills. So usually I always pay a certain set of bills on our payday to just get everything out of the way. So I think we're gonna do this. And just stack them. Or not stack them, but put them next to each other. No, I almost didn't do a June kit, but I showed this clip art to uh, the gals in the Facebook group. If you haven't joined my Facebook group, you should. We do fun games and fun giveaways in there every Friday. And everybody was like, you need to do a June monthly. Um, our monthly kits are the most popular by far in the shop. People really love the monthlies, which makes me so happy because they're some of my favorites. So let's put down and another thing like I plan so randomly which is one of the reasons why I don't do a lot of plan with me <laughs> but I'm gonna get better you guys I am going to get better and I also did a little poll in the Facebook group and I asked um, if you like like sped up plan with me or you like the long talkative ones and a lot of people like the talkative ones so I was like okay on this channel it might be a variety because there's just sometimes where I don't really have a lot to say and I have this thing where I like to plan on the couch while I'm watching TV. And I like to just take my time doing it. And when I do a video, I feel like I have to rush through, you know, kinda. So that looks super pretty. All the holidays are on that side. That's kinda funny. So we have Father's Day, Ramadan ends, Flag Day, and Summer Begins. I definitely want to do something fun here. Like, put a lot of deco there. Okay. So, keeping on this page, my dogs. I have two dogs, if you didn't know, and one kitty cat. Both dogs are getting groomed on the 13th Tuesday. So, I think... I'm gonna use a half box for that. I'm kind of feeling this one. This guy. 13th. Molly is a kind of funky combo. <laughs> She's a schnauzer slash poodle. I know, weird, right? We base in the other one, Zoe, is pretty large. She's like 70 pounds, and she is a, what is she? Uh, I was gonna say golden retriever, but she is definitely not a golden retriever. She is a German Shepherd and a Collie. So she sheds like crazy. And we adopted them from Jeff's mom because Jeff's my boyfriend. 
um, she just wasn't doing very well. So we adopted them and now I don't know what I would do without them. They're my babies. So is that gonna fit? I wanna put, dun, dun, dun. summer begins. How do we wanna do that? Mm -hmm. Cute, love it already. Is this like not bright enough? I have lights going on. That might be too bright. Let's see how that does. So then. Oh, that's cute. It's like the flamingo has wings. And that's a little too large. That's a little too large and in charge. Maybe I should have done the smaller guy. But I want something green in there, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So we'll just use this little flower. Yeah, that's cute, I like that. Okay. So appointment, and then I know that I have my nail appointment. And when is my nail appointment? Nail appointment is on the 20th. You know what I find a lot of times is that all my stuff lands on like one day and then I have all this stuff in one box and then it's blank everywhere else. It drives me nuts. Do I want to use a half box here? Do I? Mm, no, I don't. I feel like that's like too much going on in that box. So, do I want to use another flag? Not really, I think that would look kind of funky. So these are where these quarter boxes come in. I'll do this guy. Ooh. How about now? Stickers flying everywhere. It's a bit breezy today. I have the window open because it's so nice. It's been super duper hot here. And by hot, I mean like in the 80s, like mid 80s. And for the Seattle area, that is hot. So I'm gonna grab a nail polish icon. It's a 10. And then I wanna mark the Mega Planner Attic Sale. There are so many monthly sales, huh, no? There's so many, is that gonna fit? Yeah. I just kind of, I don't know. I feel like it just takes, having so many, I feel like takes away from the whole experience because it's like there's a sale, there's like five different sales going on every month. You know what I mean? Like the more I just think about it, the more it bugs me. So I'm gonna be funny here. And I'm gonna put little money bags there to kick off the Mega Planner Sale Addicts Weekend. And then I'll put a little guy. A little strip. Father's Day. Okay, and then I'll put the other money bag here I don't mind that that's both green and that's honestly it you guys 
Like that's all I can think of right now. I don't got a lot of plans going on in June. So this is what it looks like so far. Let's do the sidebar. Now I've, I've been doing a new thing starting with the June monthly kit. And I'm wondering how people are liking it. So I used to have like separated boxes here. But now I have it just one sticker because I was like, why have it separ separated? Why not just have one big long sticker? And then I have a header that says Get It Girl. If you're familiar with my weekly kits, that's our header, Get It Girl. Hopefully it's inspirational for you guys. Get your day started. And for tracking, I always do goals to buy, especially for like shop supplies and stuff. And then work. Because I use this as a work and a personal planner. I use a TN for um, strictly as a business planner, but that's not really to plan out anything. That's just strictly to write lists, ideas, brain dumps. Like I don't think I'm gonna use any stickers in that. It just strictly is going to be functional. I mean, I have it decorated with like acetate and vellum and stuff like that, but oops. I think that's strictly going to be functional. I am freaking loving this. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so hard to see the foil right now. It's super duper cloudy outside right now, so. And then with the addition of this little header, you get more foil over there. So before we put on the date covers, I think, do I even want to use these? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. These full boxes. Dun, dun, dun. I'm feeling put one there it's like so incredibly random because I don't have any events or anything a lot of times I like to use these for events to bring more attention to it and then hopefully you guys can see that with our boxes, I leave a little space for the date. So I like that, and then I'll put one over here, and sorry if my chair is squeaky. That's just the nature of my chair. I'm feeling that there. And isn't it so funny how incredibly like random stickering is? That's what my boyfriend calls it like before I opened the shop. And I was like playing around with designing my own stickers or planning. He would be like, are you stickering? Are you going to sticker? I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. Thank you. And it's so funny because my whole family thought that this was like a total phase. I kept saying that I wanted to open a shop. 
and they just didn't they just didn't believe me but now they are super proud of me which is awesome because they didn't think that I was going to do it I just have to say though like really if you're thinking about doing something kind of drastic and changing your life take a chance because you just never know what will happen like I've had the best experience having my shop so far I've met so many wonderful people now for the interesting part okay are you guys ready for this it might blow your mind it might not you might not even care but can we see the date the date covers it's not starting at one it starts at four and then it goes five six seven jumps to 11 12 13 14 jumps to 18 reasoning I always found it very annoying because <laughs> I usually put on usually when I'm planning I um, flip it to the one page that I'm actually putting stuff on and I always found it annoying to have to keep flipping you know do one two three four five six seven so I thought why not just put everything in the order as they are on the one page so you can get one page done with your date covers flip over get it all done on the other side and you're good to go I find that it'll be faster at least for the way that I plan so I'm gonna go ahead and put down our date covers <laughs> I hope that exposure wasn't totally whacked. If you guys know me at all, I have serious issues with lighting. So I do have a little bit of deco. I always try to use the deco somewhere. I'll just put that, oops. Eee, I'll just put that here. Our paper, it can be removed. It's just a little on the tricky side. Let's put that down there. Little flamingo. That's cute. that guy there mm. that guy there and then just one more leaf that down at the bottom so yeah this is it guys my June monthly I'm obsessed with it it's so light and just airy feeling it's so summery it's so gorgeous with the foil I just love it and I usually don't bring anything else into my monthly I try and put everything it could possibly think of in the kit so that you don't need to bring in anything else but you most certainly can obviously but I have all of this left over I have one two three uh, half boxes I have all my like little washies time off washies um, all four of the patterned checklist or not checklist but the mini flags and then I have more headers. I have these larger icons, which I made these larger. The bow is supposed to be for, uh, well, my intended use for the bow is for to mark somebody's birthday. I thought that was kind of different than balloons. 
I used up all of this sheet, which I normally do. And then I have all these different icons. I have the majority of the quarter boxes left. I give you quite a few. There's this big decorative piece, which where should I put this? I'm feeling right here for some reason. There. I'm just so incredibly random with it. Yeah, so that's it guys. I keep these sheets in my Erin Condren pouch and I put it in here because throughout the month more things will happen, more appointments will be made, events will happen, and then I can just reach in and grab what I need to mark it all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful month of June and a great rest of your day.